welcome once again to New Great West and King Shalom. It's your host. Again, I'm here reporting the community issues, social media. Eh? Okay, there's a lady from Canada, Christine, over there. She owns that property, Sparry Tree. Yeah? And she has been nothing but a racist um, white person against the local people. The reason why I say that is because she pays the police money to be quiet about us and she pays them to turn off our music, stop our operation, all right? Now when she pays the police to do that, no one can operate. If you don't believe me, I will walk you through the whole strip of this community and show you all the business places she have influenced the police to shut down. You ready? Okay, this is the reggae bus you see right here. This lady is Crystal. She operates here. Hi, Crystal. Yeah, she get a lot of fight also from this same lady. She stopped Crystal from operating her business. This is a nice place that do local music. So look at the beautiful people. Come on, Lambert, come on. Look at the beautiful people on the reggae bus yeah. to support Crystal. But she cannot get the support if the lady tell the police to close the music up. I'm going to let you speak to Crystal herself. Come. This is Crystal, my sister, right? Hi. I was just telling him about doing a documentary and okay. Christine, yes. how she's fighting us. Oh yes, that's local. true. So I'm here. I want to hear it from your own mouth. That's Here's true. Crystal. She's operating this nice reggae local bar with the reggae bus, but she cannot do it in peace. Because every time she play live music, don't care how low it is, yeah, this lady called the police, right? Because she claims she's paying them. That's how much power she has. So, Crystal, am I wrong in what I'm saying? No, you're right. Okay. Yeah. How many times this lady called the police on you to Every time I put on a show. All right. <laughs> See? Take a look at the place. Why, why, why? That will never leave us alone. her down and close me down and everybody else what do you think is gonna happen to this strip right here dead die. and that's yeah. what she's doing CCA. they are doing a little documentary cca is closed because of her and there's some other places this place get a lot of fight this place also, got a this lot of fight used to be everybody called rocky wednesday real nice local party both mixed crowd white and black they mix together and they have good time right here at this place. Look. And this lady called the police. Now it's closed. You see how deserted it is? That's how she, she wanted to be. She has the spa there. retreat and oh, this is the healing spa. Whenever they play music, the she called the police. Only it's again. It's see, look. Check it out. Look at the big establishment. They're the only ones supposed to live lavish and good, but the local people must not have any life. Look at how they're living over there. Think more than yeah. local nations. Yeah, man. These people are wicked. And all these places abandoned because of her. Whenever they play music, they send the police. If these people play music, they call the police. If I play music, they call the police. No one can do anything on this strip because of this witch. This man is called John Jonathan Jackson. His parents is original people from Negril, like my parents. We are all original Negro people. Okay, and she befriended him and then she attacked him in the end. I will show you him, I will let you meet him and interview him right now. Let's go see Tayan, which is John. His place originally, and this woman fight against him, and now he must close, and I will show you where he is now. Okay? Oh, it's me, King Shalom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's meet Kaya. His real name is John. I told you, this is the first brother. Behave, my boy. May I do video? This is the first brother 
that this woman tried to fight against in his own community. Kayan, bring these beautiful people to meet Kayan. He's the original owner from the shop, like I told you. Been giving every native people, local Negro people, big problem. And you been the biggest victim because now he is in the court with these people, in yeah. the court. Imagine, you come from Canada and you make problem in Jamaica to the point where you have to go to court. So here's my cousin, Tyan, John. He will tell you everything. Respect. Don't these people fight you a lot? Too much. All right. I can't keep a party, they call the police. See? I told you. The police come and shut down the party, so I can't make no money, I have to close down. Oh, God. Now I get sickly, I got a stroke on my left side. See? Yeah, okay. I got to stay in my bedroom. And his business is closed. Yeah. If she didn't do this, if she didn't do this, yeah, it's closed. If she didn't do this, he still have his business. He could make his daughter or his son run the business, but now can't play the music. If you can't play music, you won't have customer, right? Yeah. I know. I know she even. You guys are in the court, right? Yeah, because they're in my shop and they don't want to come out. Mm -hmm. He gave them notice to come out the shop, and they still don't want to come out. You understand? Yeah. And we were friends before, you know, and then she turned out to be his. They were friends before, and she turned on him like a green lizard. Yeah, lizard changed color. Yeah. Right, but he's the biggest victim because now she has, they are in court. She even tries to buy his property behind his back. Like, yeah, you're my friend, and then behind his back, she tried to buy his property from his brother. Not good woman, this, yeah. right? And then she tried to send the police many times to close his music down. And all the other natives here, it's the same thing they do. Everybody keep a party on this church. Yeah. Once you try to play music and she hear the music, she call the police. Yeah. And Even if the music isn't loud, she call the police. Yes. The music don't have to be loud. She just don't want you to have any form of livelihood. No kind of because nothing. she come and do the same thing we are doing. She got restaurant and bar. Right, so she compete with us. She did a hotel alone, then she wouldn't be so much problem. Right, right. She wants everybody to come by her restaurant and bar. Right. So all the other restaurant and bar in the neighborhood, she Can't. wants to see them right now. True, and so that's not good. So people can come and hear her bar. Not good, not good. It's a spy true. No good. Yeah. They're not good people, man. No good for the neighbor. Yeah. No good for the local people. And they make good white folks look bad. Because good white people, when they come here, they don't fight against us. They actually help us. But they... She don't know if her guests come out no more. Yeah. It's like a prison for the guests there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know that night, if they wake up and, and hear the music playing or hear us talking, they would come out and want to get stuff. Mm -hmm. And they don't like that. When the guests come and talk to us, they don't like that. She's like an um, agent in yeah. my mind, my knowledge. This woman is an agent and she's been planned here to provoke the original people of Negril so we can sell our land and move out and then they take over everything. It is not fair. She must be careful what she's doing. It is not good. All right, so I have to let you meet John because he's the main victim, like I said. He's in court now with these people, and I know he'll win, and I hope he win. But I had to share this with the world. There's a lot of injustice going on in Negril. There's a lot of politics going on in Negril. The police at the higher rank is being paid to suppress us, the small people, and it is not right. And it's only one person here is doing it, Christine Cohen, right? There's a lot of people here not doing this, right? She also closed the Bourbon Beach down. She closed MX Street down. She closed everyone down. But I'm one of the person that is not going to take it lightly.